Friday, Pick Central. Is it September 23rd? September 23rd, Pick Central. Uh, I want to remind you that we're we brought to you by Fireball. Friends at Fireball. Sometimes life can get serious fast and adult responsibilities become overwhelming. But everyone needs an excuse to let loose and have some fun. During these moments of stressful adulting and letting yourself have some fun, Fireball Whiskey is there to help you say F it and free your fire. Fireball takes any event to the next level, whether it's a mundane work happy hour, a crazy pregame, or just watching football with some friends. Fireball is all about flipping the script on life and turning everyday events into ones you'll be telling stories about for years. Fireball's iconic cinnamon flavor tastes fire and goes down easy, making it the ultimate crowd pleaser. That's why it's the number one shot in the U.S. Fireball 50 milliliter shooters are perfect to ignite a pregame tailgate or darty, plus no shot glass needed. Just crack it and knock it back. I took one of those shooters uh, when the basement flooded. I'm like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna fucking be knee deep here, I'm taking a fireball shooter, yep. and uh, I'm gonna survive this. So, and it, and it does go down easy. Uh, next time you're deciding between adulting and fun, say F it and free your fire. That's exactly what I did with an ice cold shot of fireball. The F it pick of the day got very close yesterday. I knew it was gonna be a shootout. Points were left on the board. They took the touchdown over. That would have hit it. It would have been nice to hit plus one eighty five. Ev, what is the F it pick of the day? I'm going pick it today. We're fading the public, people. We're fading the public. We're saying F it. There's a pick that makes me sick to my stomach, and because it makes me sick to my stomach, that's why I love it. Virginia, plus 10 Ooh. on the road, going to, I don't care what the new name is, they're going carrier to the Carrier Dome. Dome. They're going to the Carrier Dome. They're going to keep this thing close tonight. Brendan Armstrong is going to be the guy that Malisek maybe thought he was for one single night. Doesn't need to be for the season. Just one night. Virginia, plus 10. So, real quick, we will not touch on baseball at all other than this. On Hot Ice, we've learned to love the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks yesterday were like plus 175 against the Dodgers. They're giving the Dodgers fits all night. After the game, I watched it and then fell asleep at the end and then watched the highlights. For those of you who don't know, Zach Gallen is a stud. This was his stat line last night. Eight innings pitched, two hits, one run, one earned run, 13 strikeouts, no walks, his team lost 3-2. to two. Yeah, it's fucked. He is a stud. If you're flipping channels, you're watching MLB, he's worth watching. He's like a prospect. He gave up two runs at the bottom of the ninth. Yeah, lost. and we all got we all got fucked. Like, it was one of those where we were like, dog, good day. And Carl's like, why are we wasting our time? He's like, let's do it. One, two, three. Everyone goes, Diamondbacks. We love the Diamondbacks. We love them with the plus sign. It's a shame. That's the only uh, bad baseball beat I had. one baseball thing, too. I was thinking about this. The Mets... They they did their champagne and stuff. I didn't even know the Yankees po- cl- clinched the postseason last night, and it was just like yeah. I feel like I, I, I'm not even just trolling the Mets. It's just like I think it is weird to. Yeah, but did they make them put on the shirts? I don't know. I think they. No, I don't think so. I think it just had That's postseason. So interesting, then. It just had postseason on the scoreboard. Why do we make the Mets put on the shit? Yeah, it's weird. That's why I was wondering. That's bullshit. Like, do the Yankees have? Well, they didn't make it. You guys wanted to. Yeah, I think I you don't... guys were excited that you made the postseason. Maybe. I'll be upset if that's what that. it was, but I do think that they make you put the this, this stuff on. I do think they want that. The, the Yankees didn't have it on. Well, I do think the Yankees are above the law in that sense. They can and get just away the, the last baseball thing, that cameraman. Should be shot. Oh, oh my God. Responsibly. That was crazy. It was wild. I did think it was out. Because yeah. you always watch I, when, I, you're I was there, the when you're there and you're watching a game and you know baseball, watch the outfield. It's always what's going to tell you. But we couldn't see that. Well, one. Didn't show yeah, we couldn't see it. They didn't show his judge either. Because when they showed the replay, a judge, he didn't think it was out. No, he yeah. like, like he was like, looking oh, at it like, oh, no, no. Yeah, so if you hate that cameraman, like and subscribe and uh, roast him in the comments. Zah said we did pretty well yesterday. Bump four, it up. Yeah, four times uh, Four yeah. times. If you're listening like right save now, every watching, show that I'm on. if you're watching, just, just hit that like button, please. And we beg of you. Please. It's free of uh, charge, as we say. Yeah, exactly. Free of charge. Free. We're out here working for free. Uh, For you, anyway. Um. All right, last night there was the bad beat at the end of the game. It didn't really affect the spread, didn't really affect the total. Yep. Claypool's receiving yards, though, go down because oh, of the hitch back. So fucked up. Disgusting. Unbelievable. That's really like when a guy, take, a quarterback takes a knee or something like that. Like those, you think you're out of the woods, you have nothing to do with the game. The game also, where do we put that as far as a grade? D? Ugh. E minus? I mean, it was kind of what I expected it ish. The Browns probably threw the ball a little better than I thought they would. But, I mean, it was, I think, relatively what. You would have expected. They move. They honestly move the ball more than I thought. Actually, yeah, so. the Browns are just so just in general should be three and zero. Oh. Um, bro, like they, the uh, 
there are so many third and ones that they just didn't give oh. the ball to Nick Chubb. It's like, what are we giving Jacoby Brissett throwing the ball when you have Nick Chubb, who Nick Chubb was run, he's been running for like 130 yards every single game. Give him the ball. It's, it makes no sense. And the Steelers are just, they can't. Mitch has done enough that he's going to stay the quarterback for a while. He is. He's not like not for a while. I mean, like this at least season, uh, like yeah. he's gonna play next week. He no touchdowns yesterday, but no no uh, turnovers. Like he didn't play abysmal, but he didn't, he he can't do much. Right. Yeah, I, it was crazy. Was Stefan- and I do think Stefanski is a very good coach. He loves getting cute. Yeah. Like, they just, they would just abandon. Like there'd be some drives where they throw it on first down, and just be like, oh fuck it, throw it again, throw it again. And I and I'll give them the credit because. They were doing really well with that, like that first down, picking up like six, eight yards with Ninjoku. He was just open over the middle constantly. So, I mean, it was working there, but I agree with you. They just got away from the run a lot. I thought they could have controlled the game more, made it. I mean, they won the game, so obviously, like, not a big deal, but I felt like they could have controlled the game more. Could have, like, they obviously, they went, uh, Pittsburgh scores twice in the first half. Listen, um, he he's a piece of shit, but when Watson comes back, oh. Cooper is. Is a, is a really good receiver. He's a veteran. He maybe, dropped a deep ball too. That yeah, he, the he dropped. A, maybe he j- dropped a little bit of where he was in terms of his peak. I don't think, think Amari Cooper is necessarily in his peak. But if they go out and get another wide receiver with these two running backs and Deshaun Watson, they're a serious threat in that division moving sure, forward. Hundred percent. The next dude. couple of years because oh, Watson's so. relatively young. Yeah. yeah, Watson thirty yet, or is he twenty? No, like twenty seven. Yeah, 27, 28, 28 Right. Yeah. So like that's, you know, you look at. You, st- you just immediately put yourselves in front of the Steelers in terms of their quarterback situation. We don't know about Pickett. Pickett could put themselves kind of right back up there, but I do think Watson will be better than Pickett in year two no matter what. Uh, yeah. I don't think yeah, Pickett will explode like that, and I'm high on him. Yeah. Um, and then potentially, like, if Jackson doesn't re-sign, is, can, he still, can he still walk Lamar Jackson? Um, What's going on with so that? So yeah, he could walk. They, they, he can well, walk. Well, so he might no, go some. No, because no? they could franchise him. Got it. They would. Ne- they, they would. Knew never there was a. Walk. I knew there was a little wrinkle in there somewhere. You know, they could franchise him. They would never let him just walk. So Amari Cooper, real fast. Isn't it crazy? Like, the Browns did basically the same trade for Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper as uh, what Jalen Rager went for. It's like the same exact trade. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Well, well it's, well, it's because they had to pay Cooper the contract. That's why. But still, it's Cooper, like Cooper makes like twenty million a year. Yeah, but you look at that. It's like what? What? Some of these football trades never make sense to me. It's, They're also it's not. All about, it's all about taking on. There's money. not a lot of. Tra- there's not a lot of football trades. Yeah, but like, there's some like you're like, oh wait, that guy only gets a third round pick. It's like, how does that? It's make all money based. That's all what it is. And there's like none in season. It feels like. R- rarely, football. rarely, like at the season, like. Yeah. Why is the deadline for football not a bigger deal? I just think it's tough. Why is it not used like baseball, how you can instantly catapult yourself up? It's just, I just think football, it's like it's so much more strategic in the sense of like, think about like baseball, you just plug a guy in. Right. Like just plug him in the outfield, you know, plug him at first base. He's going to bat third. Like in football, there's so much like more strategy that goes into the like day-to-day of the game. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the AFC North, Evo pulled these up. Baltimore plus one hundred, Cincy plus three hundred, Browns plus three hundred, Steelers plus a thousand. It's chalk. How are you not behind the the rate? Like, do the Ravens really? Miami's better than what they think. Cincinnati looks like shit. I, I mean, just to not take chalk, do you, like give a little something. I'm still kind of a believer in Cincy. I know they've looked bad. Like, I'm not. I mean, they should have beat the Steelers. They almost come back and beat uh, Cowboys. I know. Listen, they lost. That's it. They lost. But uh, I'm, I still think they can get it together. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna smash the Jets this week. Which obviously, I don't think that's like saying something insane. But it is. I'm, I'm still a. Belie- I'm a believer well, in them I, still long term in the Bengals. I think they smash them. I do think they smash the Jets, but I don't want to throw a little res- uh, disrespect to uh, a friend of the program who is being inducted into the Hall of Fame for the Jets. Mangold, they're retiring Mangold's. Uh, oh, shout out Nick Mangold. Mangold's Great going. Guy. I don't know if you retire a number, but Mangold's going into the Ring of Honor. Great um, guy. So yeah, real nice guy. So, oh, it's good for him. But I don't. I don't know. I think maybe the Jets will rally a little bit. I, yeah. I don't know if that has an impact on the game, but I do think like good, good for him. He is a really nice. It is. It, guy. it deserves it. I mean, at least it's good to know that the Jets are honoring Mangold in that game because I still say it. Mon- I really did wish I knew. That Marv Levy was going to come out there and chant for the crowd with Jim Kelly Monday night. That's worth 15 points. I don't care what you say. 
Yeah. They, they, and then you see, he couldn't even finish the thing. Mm. He was like, there's no place. I, and they're like, you know, they go nuts. They finish the whole chant. I don't even know what it was. No place I'd rather be. Would, uh, no one I'd rather be with. No, no place I'd rather be or whatever, whatever it was. Levy did it every game, but they went berserk. I would be on the Ravens here as, as the chalk. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah, I mean, it's gross. Should, I, I yeah, mean, I mean, it's I know it's gross. I mean, if you took odds out of it, I'd be like, yeah, like I think they're probably going to win the division. But. Right. So then uh, Pickens has a unbelievable catch last night, um, which shows you why he could be the offensive rookie of the year. I don't know how he can do it in that offense. Uh, Ebo, you want to pull up those odds in terms of offensive rookie of the year? So yeah, we'll get them pulled up real yeah, quick. Drake London's pulled ahead to now five to one. John Dotson seven to one, and your boy Garrett Wilson nine to one. Followed by Brees Hall, twelve to one. I don't get the Brees Hall thing. I don't either. He, he had a, he played well in the last yeah. game. He a touchdown. I think he, I think he didn't get. He had like seven, eight carries for like sixty yards. It's pretty fucking good. Alave. He's not using him a ton, a ton. Alave and Pickens still twelve to one. Alave still a guy I think could sneaky like put string some games together. What about our boy Dubes? If if uh, if the Packers use, get hot, they just don't use him enough. Like like they yeah. the way their offense is now without having that like the Adams like. They're just going to spread the ball around. Like I think he's going to have some games, like some good games, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to surpass some of the guys at the top. Like, like Wilson's pretty much already like the one in that offense. You've got like a guy like Drake London who's already the one in that offense. It's just tough to pass guys up like that that you know are going to get a ton of targets. Yeah, it's it's crazy though because I just think Dubes is fucking great. So I don't. Yeah, no, he's see very him, good. I don't want to see him not get chances. Or I think you know, I think he's gonna have a good season. He's wearing. He's on his fourth uniform in five years or something. You know, like I, I do think he could be really good. So he's great. Um, I would probably play. Yeah, I think Alave could be sneaky. I I just wouldn't play like if there's a way to fade Bryce Hall. Bryce, uh, I say Bryce Hall all the time. <laughs> Brees Hall, I'd fade Brees Hall. Yeah, I, I agree. I just don't think the Jets are gonna start. Being explosive with he's going to get explosive running stats via the Jets. I think they'll be down in a lot of games. They could have a nice season. I still am not a believer in him, but I don't think he's really going to light up the boards in terms of. Uh, oh, I was just curious. If, if you don't really have any strong opinions on offensive rookie of the year. Are there any awards that you have a strong opinion on? Yeah, I still kind of think I'd play Lamar at MVP based on what we've seen with Judge. Can I? Can I still I would take a look at Lamar at MVP. Can, I, can we see the MVP odds? It's gonna be hard to not give it to Josh Allen, though. Like right now, it's it's Josh Allen. Obviously, do we have defensive rookie either? Because I think Hudgens has got that in a headlock. Oh, I think. Uh, he, that, I mean, I think yeah, close, right? that's got to be heavy. He's got like five sacks already. Yeah, it shouldn't be close. Allen, Mahomes, Herbert. I don't know why Herbert. Lamar's still twelve to one. See, like I wouldn't even touch this because I agree. Like I just think it's like it's it's Allen's time. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it it is. some fucking video game. But numbers. but it's but it's, you got to realize with these, once you win it a few times, like they want to give it to the. Yes, the next I guy. agree with you. Well, yeah. I don't. I mean, this is crazy. I never. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in him. But Tua is not a crazy. After last week, that's oh. head of the stats. Like that's a, a and that's a person who's going to be throwing the ball deep every single time. To, to if re-kill. he finds himself in the top five or three of passing touchdowns and passing yards. And the Dolphins worked themselves into like one of the top four f- teams in the AFC. I could see that, hundred percent, because he was the re- like he if he explodes, that's not a bad play. I don't I really believe in it. It's just like after the first two weeks, that is someone with odds like that you can take a shot on. But Al- it is Allen's to lose. Yeah, it should almost their almost- offense is a fucking machine. I know. They're, sure yeah, like, you're just yeah. good. They're just going to score a lot. This is a good week, though, for that. They play each other. Yeah. And if Tua, like, fucking, if Tua fucking beats the Bills, that he's going to be the front runner after yeah. this week. Yeah, maybe. That's the same thing we say with the Heisman, like those showcase. T- I think it matters a little bit. I think there's less showcase games like that in the NFL, if that makes yeah. sense, because yeah. there's no yeah. rankings. But I do think if you can get a guy on a Sunday night, like if the Bills – Dolphins was Tuesday was Sunday night. I would de- I would be all over Tua. Yeah. Just for that sense of like, hey, if he does have a great game and God forbid they beat the Bills or they you know they beat the Bills or it's who's, it, who's Sunday night it, this week? What? Who's Sunday night this week? Uh, I don't know. I forget. Off the top of my head. No Giants are Monday. Giants have the Monday. Who's this Sunday night game? Good right now. One sec. Sunday night is Oh, Denver, uh, San Fran. Oh, God. Ugh, that's a horrible game. I have no interest in that game. What? 
I don't think it's that bad. I just think that I'm sick of watching. I'm, 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 I'm a, sick I'm of a, watching that guy on. A, I'm a, on say, I'm a San Fran guy. I'm sick of watching. I'm a, I'm a Hackett. big 49ers believer. I'm sick of watching Hackett. I really am. I think the 49ers just kind of like. I, I think they're just kind of boring. Like Debo is like. The I think they're really like, good. No, they're good. They're a good, boring team. Though. Like the Spurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they're what, gonna get yeah, it done. I mean, with Garoppolo, they're just very like. Yeah, but they're just not saying. flashy. Yeah. Like you respect them, and I they're good, and you pick like them. The Bills and the Chiefs are like. There's always flashy shit at the Dolphins. Right. Like the, it's the Spurs exactly. Yeah. Uh, something that's not boring is Foley. Ev. Foley. Tell us about Foley. Get our Foley. Let me get this out. Remember to use code Barstool20 for 20% off of free shipping on Foley. Set at playfoley.com. Foley is a rowdy mashup of football and bowling. First team to knock down all 10 of their opponents' pins and wins. Born at the Indy 500 2001, Foley is wildly popular in the Midwest where it all started, and it's taken the nation by storm. It's anyone's game, tight spiral, granny roll, underhand. You don't need to be a quarterback to win. The best new backyard game, bonks, win the game in just one throw, but you got to give the other team one last chance before you claim victory. If on any player's first throw of the game with all 10 pins still standing, the rent pin is knocked off the board, that's a bonk. Easily stored within latching boards, the set comes with everything you need. 20 weighted pins, two boards, one football, a pump, and endless fun. Upgrade your tailgate, use Barstool 20. For 20% off plus free shipping on a Foling set at playfoling.com. That's playfoling.com. Use code BARSTOOL20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Shut it Foling. Hopefully new there's backyard. some in Knoxville. <laughs> Great new backyard game. Jerry's so mad about the Steelers. He, he's, yeah, he's, he wants to light up Mitch, but he can't. He went through it last night, too. Mitch, again. Went on space. He hasn't done enough to get done. It's oh, tough. Big Cat showing him in the spaces was so funny. Very funny. But the, but Did the, you see the one he popped up as content, Kim? Oh, he, no, I didn't see that. Big Cat, he went back because uh, Jerry kept booting him, and he's logged into Content Kim's account. And Jerry's like, oh, the Content Kim, like, what are you doing up? He's like, like this guy's again? a loot. <laughs> You're not getting paid Okay, tomorrow. fair. I have, fair. The, I have the cash in fair. my draw. I will bring it okay, tomorrow. Okay, fair. All right. I, all I'm going to say, I'm going to leave it to the Steelers fans, but – why haven't we even thrown out the idea that maybe Mason Rudolph is the guy? Oh, you're fucking done, bro. You're done. You're done. This guy is a, just a fucking asshole. He's an asshole. Yeah. And this is, this is why I can't, like, I try to be, I'm trying to be, be nice. I don't want to leave him there as because he's the most popular guy in, in, in the room. And he just fucking plays games. He just plays games. <laughs> Bad enough I have to give him $1,000 tomorrow. What? The one that got me was when he disguised his voice a little bit and goes, "Hey Bob, like you're a Brown, yeah, you're a Browns fan. Come in." And he's like, "Yeah, Jerry, that's a tough loss." And then he recognizes the inflection on one. He goes, "Oh, it's, it's fucking Dan again." It was like the <laughs> third third time he did it. It was fucking unbelievable. Uh, college slate tonight. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Can we stay on NFL real yes. fast? I have to. I have to defend the guy on my shirt really fast. <clears throat> Didn't tell you guys what it was. So, Dan Orlovsky, first of all, take whatever you think about him, whatever. He Wasn't broke, he the one who ran out of the back of the end? Yeah. Hey, great quarterback. Yeah. So, he broke down, before you play, he broke down what the Panthers have been doing the past two weeks. They have been get, telling their plays to the other team. What? Okay, oh, sorry. I didn't realize you had your headphones on. We can't play it. Okay. So, that's, that's, that's all we got. That's good. So you'll see that play, right? Yeah. So the Panthers have been – it's basically telling their – like the pitcher telling their pitches. They have been telling every play that they've been doing. So when McCaffrey is one step behind yes. uh, fucking Baker, it's always a run. And when Baker is – when they're hip to hip, it's always a pass. Yeah. So these teams – because I said this, fucking Dukes out there remembered it from high school football when Gosh. that happens. And you remember it too. You can tell as well. a very funny story about that. So the thing is, this fucking stupid-ass Matt Rule and offensive coordinator is telling the team what is happening, and Baker Mayfield is only losing by five points for two, to, to, in two weeks? That is an MVP candidate in my eyes. No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right, I, I'll give him a little credit. Take the MVP it's, away. It's, I'm, I'm kidding about that. The but tell is true. That's crazy. We were the, the tell is fine, but you want to 
good quarterbacks would be like, hey, I'm still be able to score the ball. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? The whole the old rumor. I played. You know, if you know a fastball's coming, you're gonna hit a home run. The old rumor was that. Yeah. Green Bay, Vince Lombardi could tell you where he was running the play, and they'd still get three. Exactly. That, as a rumor I mean, of that, but Baker Mayfield having to first of all his line isn't like the best. Well, it's more of a, like obviously you want to disguise and stuff, but I mean execution is what really it's all about. Yeah. We were in college, my freshman. Like if we year. can just if we can just run like I get an I formation, just block and just block. So if the up, team knows a you run's know always coming time. and a pass is always coming, it's, go, it's a lot harder on me. <laughs> we were in my, You'd be surprised. We were in my freshman year of college. Uh, we're on our sixth quarterback by week two. Uh, guys thrown Jesus out, hit best uh, one a Hall of Famer that I'm friends with, fucked up his knee. We had we ended up having a wide receiver play quarterback who was a freshman, one of my best friends. We were like a disaster offensively, but defensively we thought, all right, we could keep it low scoring here and just maybe need one score to go. Like the defense was okay, but we were on the field. It we gave up a lot of points because you were on the field all day. Anyway, is what it is. Going to play this team, and the scouting report comes through, and that's the same tell when this kid is. Lined up half a step back, they're running the ball. When he's hip to hip, they're throwing the ball. We show up to the game, they never went shotgun the entire game. They went under center. They must have figured something out, or they the the coach pregamed with whatever, and they were like, it's a tell. They went under center and lit us up. Oh, so you lost. We lost yeah. because they adjusted. Exactly. So if they, so if like, they we, could no, no, adjust. No. We had them. The deep, we, we were going against their offense, and we knew all their tells. But they never showed the tell. No, no, you're, no, I, you're right. He's got to go under center. You're showing me that that is exactly what's happening to the Panthers. That no matter what, an NFL team is a high, the highest level. First of all, should not be telling. They shouldn't have like tells this. like that. If, if Dan Orlovsky's figuring that out, a fucking anyone can figure that out. So, I know I'm tr kidding a little bit, but it is crazy that they broke down a bunch of plays on that video, and it's just a tell every single time. And like you'll see, like. One of them, they like gained. They still gained like eight yards, and like, but he's like, "Oh, but look at this!" And McCaffrey got smoked in the backfield. Like, it's crazy to think about. Yeah. When people, I like, I under, kind of understand a little bit of Stephen Shea where he does like to break down film, but that's a bit too much of what he does. You, you guys were, you guys were going at it on the stream last night. He's a, he's a wild cat. <laughs> it was that. so fun. I don't think he respects my football knowledge. I don't think, I think he, he thinks it's just. I think it's, but I think he thinks it's just him and nobody else. Yeah. Well, that's what I don't that's think it's where, just, like. There's a lot of people's knowledge I don't think he respects. Yeah, me. I don't even think it's just you. There's an element, too, of this job of, like, respecting a little bit of other people's opinions, you know? Well, that, like, that's what I will I say. He, and I like, I really do. I like Che, but I do think he tries, he, he thinks he's an NFL GM. He really does. I will like, say I'm though, lucky to be. I'm lucky to be on the couch with him. About <laughs> this show, we we listen to everyone. We do. Even if you, it's stupid. Even if it's like Smitty saying something about Andy Reid, we'll still listen. <laughs> also, Smitty doesn't have much now to say when Justin Jefferson didn't do dick again. Like that card of like poor Justin. Je he can't really say anything. It literally uh, looks. It's just like. What's his name? Deed him up pretty well. Yeah, he can't say anything. He was playing defense against Slay. Yeah, yes. yeah. He was trying to prevent Slay from getting nine interceptions. Unbelievable. Uh, all right, so the college slate tonight. Uh, I know the effort pick of the day for you is Virginia. I kind of agree. I do think Syracuse's defense is really good, though. I, so I, I actually played the. I actually really like the over in this game. Maybe I'll maybe I'll look stupid. Um, I don't know. I just, especially when I watch and listen, like Aiden O'Connell's very good. Purdue offense is very, very good. I'm hearing he's banged up this week. Yes, but I'm, I'm saying Harry's speaking just because that was Purdue Syracuse yeah, last Harry's week. Yeah, he's not dome, playing. He, they were able to throw the ball and they had a ton, have a ton of success, and they just weren't able. I mean, it ended up being a pretty high scoring game, even though it started very low scoring. Um, Brent, I mean, obviously, like the Virginia struggled this year, but their defense has actually played pretty well. Virginia's defense. So I don't know. I just think we're going to see a little different game. Like I think they're both going to be able to open up the passing game a little bit. Because they both they both play pretty well against the run, um, I don't know. I just think this is one of those games where I just like I just feel like the number should be much like considering where both teams are at. How bad Virginia is? How, how good bad Virginia has been and how good Syracuse has been? Like I think the way like beating the hell out of Louisville was impressive. Uh, beating Purdue, I thought was very like that's I think I think highly Purdue. I thought that was a very impressive win as well. One maybe they shouldn't have got, but I give them all the credit in the world. They they pulled it out. Um, I don't know, just I just think the line should be like fourteen. Like I'm surprised and it's like nine and a half, ten. And that's why I jumped when I got a full ten, I was like I tweeted it and I was like, you know what, fuck it, like I'll I'll play it. So yeah, I'm on I'm on Virginia plus ten. I think it's a plug your nose a little bit, but I also think it's one of those you're gonna know early. Like I'm either gonna, I'm, we're gonna be first at the end of the first quarter, I'm like, all right, like this is a game where I'm gonna be 
Like, fuck, Syracuse yeah. is up 14 nothing. Remember when, in trouble. remember when Syracuse got hot a couple of years ago and was like ranked and that Notre Dame game was like messy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was crazy. Was that game at Yankee Stadium? Why do I remember that? It might have been. You might I'm be like right. I'm like nearly positive that game was at Yankee you Stadium. Might be right. Um, pinch, I think it was like the Pinstripe Classic with the Met, with uh, Notre Dame, if I remember. But Q's also – I also thought like – and I like Babers. I thought he made some questionable coaching decisions in that game. I thought he got bailed out by some, by some penalties. Schrader makes an unreal throw to win that game. Uh, they made like they made, they came up with some big plays like they came up with a big like a fourth and one they end up breaking it for like sixty score a touchdown and I don't know like, I think they, maybe they just caught Louisville in a bad spot then also I mean they just played they played UConn yeah and they beat Purdue so I mean I like I, I'll give them all the, I'll give them credit but I don't know Virginia I don't know I think maybe they could find something here and also there's a team where I think maybe Syracuse is sitting a little fat and happy and Virginia is desperate yep desperate for a, obviously. They, just barely beat ODU, but it's still give them credit. They came back, drove down the field, got stopped. Came back, drove down the field, won the game. The game they honestly probably should have lost. Well, listen, some of these teams who like we, we know with our eyeballs, like hey, they stink. They're still getting respect on lines. You saw it last night with Virginia Tech. Yep. It's like ooh, West Virginia, small favorite, and oh, I worry about West Virginia going there and and laying points on the road and West Virginia tough environment. Maybe they could turn it around, and their defense is pretty good, and this and that. No, dude, Grant Wells stinks. Yeah. Grant Wells stinks. West Virginia stinks. JT Daniels is a big time quarterback. West Virginia looked really good last night. That was an easy one. I was happy to get that. We so, needed that one. We needed that one. That might be the point you worry about a little bit here where it's like Oh yeah, no, I could look sure, that's that's the only counter. I could look I'm, dumb, I'm no, for sure. There. Yeah. For uh, sure. Cuse might just be like that much better. Yeah. They go win this game by 25, 30 points. I mean, I don't think that's out of the question. So here's one I wish I was on because I uh but I, I, I can't after losing last week. Um, I think Air Force can smoke. I'm on Air Force. Oh, I'm on Air if they're fully, if this they're the fully, bounce, this is the, the thing is, back. if they're fully healthy, I think all these there was some sickness and some shit like that. But Wyoming just out schemed them. They had that kid. I forget his name, but he ran all over yep. uh, Air Force. This is another total where it's like so the total's 46 and a half. Air Force's team total is like 34 or 33 and a half, and you're laying the 24. You need to get to that number pretty quick, though. Yeah, in my opinion, because Air Force could do those long drives. But see, but Air, but just Air Force not. throws the ball more than the other academies. Yeah, do. see, a lot of people, you, you know that uh, people are like, uh, I think we're commenting and and saying like, oh, Air Force doesn't really. All I'm saying is Air Force throws the ball more than Navy and more than Army. Yes, that, that also sure. Air Force dials up designed passes yes. more than Air Force and they legit will just Navy. drop back. Yeah, hundred percent. And Daniels can throw it. Yep. Now, will they? Do they want to run the ball and? Will they put the ball in the air if they don't have to? No, for sure. Uh, but Air Force can dial it up, and it I was so much of it because what Wyoming like Wyoming was able to just kind of like shut down the triple option. Yes, so much of that you just know early whether they either like stop it or they can't. They also were missing some of their best guys. Yep, to, sure. to go break that. And to be honest with you, like Air Force's team total probably still could have got there. They missed the field goal and they had that drive late to get close. Mm -hmm. So that gets us to seventeen. Now I'm in overtime. They left. Uh, they just couldn't run well, the ball. That's really what it comes down to. They probably should. They shouldn't have gone to the. Uh, I mean, they just got outplayed. They did. They Wyoming did. just outplayed them, but they did. But it, uh, no, I think this. Is a, I, I, I think needed something wacky bad. to happen in an overtime, and I, I might have got there. It's, Nevada's bad this year. It is. Uh, speaking of bad, I think UTEP is bad. I also agree. I, agree. And I don't know if Boise is as loaded as Boise's been, but this might be a remind you of like, oh my God, why did I go against Boise against UTEP? I'm playing Boise. Yeah, I think Boise. I'm. I'm I, I, this isn't on my card. I'm debating adding the over. And Boise looked bad against Oregon State, but Oregon State's a very good team, and we're going to find out Saturday. Or they play Oregon at State, Oregon State. They play well at Oregon State. Corvallis, Corvallis is crazy. Oregon State can be 100% a sleeper in the Pac-12. For sure. A thousand percent. We're, like we said, we're going to find out on Saturday find out how, very, how good they are. Very, we're going to find out very quick. Uh, uh, kind of a shitty slate. Friday night? No, Saturday. No, last week's was better for sure. Uh, All right, like, I think so. Like, I think Tennessee, Florida, obviously. Actually, you is. know what? You're, yeah, there's some good ones. I mean, yeah, Tennessee, Florida. I think right, there's a lot so of Wazoo, Wazoo, Florida, Ten good. Florida, Tennessee to me is is huge. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's, big that's game. the one. The one that's not on here, and these two teams hate each other. Is SMU TCU is going to be a really entertaining game. Yep. I like TCU. I'm saying as a like that's that's a I'm saying as a casual college football, you look at this slate. It's like it's pretty good. I think last week was better. Yeah, there's a few games on here that are uh, Wake, Clemson, 
is probably right to be at noon. I do think Cle uh, Wake might be able to hang around. I know it goes against the pick and parlay because Clemson does beat the shit out of them. I, I want to decide record. I actually played it already. I've like plays like locked in. Clemson. I love Clemson. Yeah, I know. I think they I know, but but them. Hartman's back and the off and Clemson's offense doesn't look great. So if it does get I'll a little wacky, Wake can make this. I'm on the over. I think this game can be high scoring. Wake can make this game. The history shows you Clemson's going to smush them. Don't get me wrong. But it, this is a – like, just keep your eye on it. I do think Wake can be live a little bit. I just, that way. I just think this is a, this is the classic game where the high-powered octane spread offense pl finally plays like a lockdown, big-time defensive line, big pass rush, good defense, and they just get smushed. But what does that tell they you? They just can't do Wake's, what they usually well, do. Wake's defense is horrible, so this is what I said. That's right. I think Clemson, right, Clemson, will, Brandon Clemson on. will be able to score some. Okay, what happens if they don't? That's my question. I'd be I'm not doubting you. I'd I'm be on shocked. the over. I think Clemson. Clemson. Rocks. If Clemson didn't put up twenty-four to thirty in this game, I'd be shocked. I still think twenty-four to thirty is like, like a little, a little underwhelming. Given, I kind of think so too. Wake that was, but that, that's why but, I said shocked. But if they shocked. win twenty-one, I think they could go put up thirty-eight. If like they I, win twenty-one, nothing, or seventeen, fourteen, or seventeen, seven. And it just shows me Clemson's offense is. I think got to start like, worrying about that offense. I'll say my score prediction for this game is like thirty-eight to like twenty-one, and even more so. I touched on this too. If they score seventeen to twenty-four points against Wake, who gives up twenty-four points, if you ask nicely, yes. what are they going to do next week? Now the game's in Clemson, but what are they going to do next week when NC State, who has probably one of the best defenses in the in the conference? Comes to town. Be low score and NC State has just as good an offense as Wake. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I think that game would be low scoring. Yeah. All right. I'm just, I think there would be two good defenses. I'm just, I, I, Clemson's it. offense to me, if they don't put up like 40 or 50 here, I'm like, I can't take it. I also seriously. think I, I don't also think Ulele is like he he had that he had played bad in that first half against Georgia Tech and a standalone. And people have kind of just been like, oh, like he's and he was he was bad last year, no doubt. So people have kind of like he's left a really bad stink in everybody's mouth. But he played better in that second half. I think he's played better in the games following that. Um, I, he, he actually weirdly losing a tech. He kind of struggled the first half, and then he scored a bunch in the second half. I don't. I just like like you said, Wake Forest defense is not good. I think it's the right place to get like get on track, score some points. And I just think uh, Wake Forest they're just gonna have trouble. I just think Clemson's defense is like a legit like top five ish defense in the country. Yeah. The D line's unreal. Yep, absolutely unreal. I do like Hartman. I think it, I'm going to take the over. I know there's some weather questions, or I, I think the the over. And that's why that even I think helps Clemson even more. Yeah, I think if the, if the weather plays a factor, I think the over is uh, the over is the play to me. Uh, the one I'm the most excited about, and I really have no interest in it. Although I do think, I do think in terms of sleeper in the in the SEC, Tennessee is a true sleeper in the SEC. Now they have a brutal schedule: this LSU, Bama, Kentucky. Uh, and Georgia. So, like, to get through that unscathed, you got to be world beaters. I don't know if they can do that. But college football is a lot better when Tennessee is good. It's a big program feel. The crazy song, running through the T, Neyland. Tennessee is going to be an electric environment. And it's better when Florida is good. You know, like the, the script fucking Gators. Like, these are premier programs. This is a game I'm dying to watch. I'm again on the over here. I worry a little bit about laying the ten and a half. I could see it coming down to the wire, um, but I also think there's a possibility where Tennessee just blows them out because Richardson looks like shit. So I think there's more opportunities for Tennessee to win the game and cover than Florida to win the game outright, which I know you worry about if you're a Tennessee fan because they've owned Florida has owned you and owned you in wacky plays. They own the rivalry, but I think there's a lot of optimism here for Tennessee to keep. Advance. They'll get through Florida, and then, okay, now it's a test with LSU. We get through LSU, guess what? We got to the Bama game. You know, like, that's all you can really ask for if you're Tennessee. You just want to be in the fight for the SEC championship. You know, I mean, I'll be at the game. I'm super excited. Um, I, I tend to agree with you about most of the things that you said. I just um, I, I just have this, like, gut feeling. Not that Tennessee's going to lose, but I have a gut feeling that Florida's going to show up for this game somehow. And I think I think they got caught in the look ahead spot last week. They were lucky to get away with a win at, at USF. And I think they show up this game. I think they make it a game. That's why I love the over because I think they make it a game. Um, I think Tennessee's gonna be able to score a lot. Like I think their offense is great. I think we just haven't really seen their defense get super tested. I mean, Slovis like Slovis was able to put up was able to put up points while he was healthy um, in that game against against Tennessee. So 
that that's what gives me a little bit of pause that Florida could make this a game. Has there been anybody though that's getting more credit in the country or ever or the history of football than Anthony Richardson, who has been? But I don't think he's getting credit. People think he's trash. He got credit after that. First. Credit well, after well, the that first game, he, but he deserved it then. But um, like he's still dynamic, and people well, are he, saying, it's, "Oh, it's, I, you it's, know, I would back Florida with the plus sign here." But I don't think that doesn't crazy. have a touchdown pass this season. It's been three games. But I don't think that. I mean, the first game, like you said, the Utah game, he played well. He hasn't played well the last two games. I mean, the Kentucky game, pretty much the pick six he threw, like flipped the game on its head that lo- literally lost them the game. Um, it is crazy though how he just has a high ceiling. Like they're still saying like he's dangerous. You know it's because, not. because he, but he is though. Like, yeah, I he got is, you. He is dangerous. I don't think he like it shouldn't be a suck fest on Richardson, but he it, like you you've seen. I think I've said it all week. He, he's the most volatile guy in the sense that he looks like a Heisman guy one day, the next day he looks like he'd be on the bench. You yeah. don't know which guy's going to show up, and I I just have a weird feeling that maybe that maybe the closer the Heisman guy sh- somehow shows up to this game. I could be dead wrong. I like the over because I think they're going to score some points. Um, I'd probably lean Tennessee. I don't love laying ten and a half with Tennessee because I do have this kind of just this feel that Florida is going to come to play in this game. Um, What's Tennessee's team total? I think if it's ten and a half, it's sixty one. It's got to be like thirty five. It is crazy though how fast in football yeah, like 37. Richardson fucking played amazing the first week and like everyone's like sucking him off and then now it's like oh no he's trash. It's what is it? so well, and because last year when he did play in like when they put him in he was unbelievable. Yeah, and they maybe that tells you why they waited to start him. Wasn't that yeah. the whole thing last year? Like, so they must have seen something in practice. What was the team total? I was thirty six and a half. Thirty six and a half. Um, I right. don't I don't hate that. I mean, Arkansas A and M is one of those games that I know both of these teams are ranked. Uh, and Arkansas has looked pretty good. I think this is kind of like both of these teams are overrated and they're in the SEC. And if this was a Big Ten game, you'd be like, you know what? Like, I, I kind of think it's similar to uh, Minnesota-Michigan State. Like, it's like middle-of-the-road teams that, like, yeah, they're they're in a major conference, but I just really don't think they're great. I'm on Arkansas here, but I have no opinion. I don't really want to watch the game. Like, it, nothing about it so really excites I'm, me. I'm actually on, I'm on A&M, and I believe I'm going to be on the over as well. I, the reason I said that, obviously, like you see A&M coming off that low-scoring game last week. The reason I like the overs because I think Arkansas's defense stinks, and I think they're and yeah, I, they gave up thirty to South Carolina, and South Carolina sucks. They gave up a bunch of points sucks. to Cincy, who I don't think is that great. I so I think A&M's going to be able to. They, 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 I think Johnson. He, now he's going to got a game under his belt. They run that shit. Up. They have they have they have real weapons, and I'm hoping maybe. Second week with Johnson, they could they could figure some stuff out. It's still a low total. It's like 48 and a half, 49 and a half range. So it's not a crazy amount of points. And I think AM's defense is good, but I think with Jefferson, they should be able to score. I don't think he's great, but I think he should be able to score a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. So I like AM and I like the over. All right. AM, that's in the South. I'm sure they uh so they got some steaks on the grill. Marty, can you tell us about Omaha Steaks? Yes, sir. Omaha Steaks is amazing. From tailgate parties to busy weeknights, the flavor experts at Omaha Steaks have, been, have made it easy to savor all the flavors for fall. Right now, take advantage of 50% off site-wide by shopping their semi-annual sale. This sale only happens twice a year, and now 50% off delicious customer favorites. And when you use como, promo code PICKS, at checkout, take an additional thirty off thirty dollars off your order. So wait, there's a fifty percent sale, and then you get an extra thirty dollars off your order. Why the fuck wouldn't you get some steaks for the fall? That's just, sometimes when you read deal. ad, read you're like, what? The, I should be fucking getting this. It's an amazing deal. Omaha steaks, the world's best beef, naturally aged for the ultimate in tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. Uh, I have had some Omaha steaks. I fucking love. Have you ever had them? I've had a bunch of steaks, burgers. They're yep. great. They're, they're amazing. So go to omahasteaks.com, enter PICKS at checkout, and stock up on fall flavor today. That's code PICKS at checkout to score an extra $30 off your order. So, yeah, Omaha Steaks for the fall, is especially like you have your boys over and a son, and you just get a – and don't, and you just makes that's even the best thing. Don't even tell them about the, the – uh, you got a code off of it. Just fucking I, – I spent all this on you guys. Have a great steak for the boys and burgers, whatever. What you do is the trade-off. You you say you spent a lot of money on Omaha Steaks. It is a quiet, quality product, so people believe you. It's not yep. like you bought some steak off the side of the road. Exactly. It looks like a fucking hockey puck. So people know you did it, and you're like, oh, can I bring anything? Oh, yeah, so you, you bring know what? Bring some fireball. Bring some fireball. Yeah, exactly. Now you just got a you know, you have $25 bottle for yourself. You just 
Yep. I got a folding set at the Great house. Folding set off the thing. Yeah, bring that over. All in one. Exactly. Um, rapid fire here. Uh, Wisconsin, Ohio State. I think Ohio State smokes them. I was saying the over. And it's another one I worry about where if you guys get shut down again on offense, you can't – like you, you're not scoring against – uh, decent, like not so graceful. We're not decent. getting shut. We're not. Getting I'm just saying, I, if you you got to put up 40 as well. Uh, USC, Oregon State. I do think Oregon State is live in this one, uh, and we're gonna find out what USC is made of. Another tough road, road test. Um, can they go get this win? Oregon State's live, and then the other one, the Pac-12, which I would have flexed if I was Washington State, because uh, I think it's going at 3:30, I believe, on Fox. The same as Florida, Tennessee. That's also the big thing about Florida Tennessee. We finally get the CBS game back. Yeah. You know, we fi- like this is the first one. Oh, it's September, a little chilly out. You got the the premier game. If I was Wazoo, I would move this game to to the night so that more eyeballs were on it cuz I do think Ohio State's going to be a blowout. So I think more people would tune in. Obviously opposite that, but I love Washington State. I know everybody thinks like, "Oh, this wacky offense. This team is anchored anchored by its defense." 31 Tackles for a loss, 14 sacks, seven takeaways. They're beasts. Now, I know they didn't go against great offenses in Colorado State and uh, Wisconsin. Um, but, but, again, Bo Nix on the road. He throws a lot of picks. I think Washington State is probably tailgating for this game, like, now, and they're going to be tuned up. I think it's going to be wild. I just think also it's the ultimate just, like, fade Bo Nix off a great game, national TV game. They go smash BYU at home. Now they come in the road, they lose outright as seven point up favorites. And the th- the other thing too is I think Washington State's offense is still waiting to get going. Yep. The Cam Ward that we know yep. and love and could could be still hasn't really got there yet. So is he getting adjusted to the playoff? Like he you know, he had the two picks against uh Wisconsin, but like his numbers have been pretty good. His his completion percentage is really good. This might be his explosive game where it puts him on the map. Um and then again, Washington Washington State might be a real threat. In the Pac-12, shit, their win total was five and a half. Yeah, this puts them at four and zero, oh, where they would have to be ranked. So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, quick stats, Ebo stats to know: the road team has covered the last ten matchups between UL Lafayette and uh, Louisiana Monroe. Michigan is an NCAA best fourteen one and one on the first half spread in the regular season since the start of the 2021 season. That's what happens when you play nobody. The Rams in the NFL are eight one and one against the spread versus the Cardinals under Sean McVay. The over is an NCAA best 17 6 and 1 in Kansas games since 2020. That's my lock of the week. I think there's a million points scored in that Duke game. Iowa Rutgers total of 33 and a half would be the lowest total in college football dating back to 2000. Lower than service <laughs> academies. That's service crazy. academies. Unbelievable. I think uh, the over still a play. It's crazy. Uh do we have NFL any, all right, so we touched on the NFL on Wednesday. You guys touched on the NFL on Wednesday. Yeah. The one I'm kind of looking at, first off, who would you take in, in your Survivor League? I'm taking the Bengals. Yeah, same. Out on the road? Yes. Yep. Yes. I think you can. I mean, there's, I mean who, who, who are – A lot of people to, got it knocked out. The say, Chiefs? I'll How about the right? Chiefs? No. I don't like the I don't like the Chiefs. I think there's better spots to use them. I, the the line is stinky. Yeah, like I want to save the Chiefs for like a must one. I mean, what about the Vikings? Who are they again? They have. I do the, like I do like them to bounce back this week. Lions I like them. at home. That's not a bad play. I don't hate that either. Eagles on the road is a heavy pick. Everyone's kind of making going to the Commanders. No, I just I no, don't hate it. I hate it's that. like Chargers against at home against Jacksonville Jaguars. What's not what's the Herbert's worst, status? Is Herbert fully. He's been he's been throwing, so it's there. I feel like it's leaning towards he's gonna play. Also, I think Keenan Allen's gonna be back as well. It's what happens like, if Herbert is Herbert still banged up? I mean, the guy couldn't walk. Exactly. I don't I mean, he couldn't walk, and he also know. threw a forty yard dart down the middle of the field. Yeah. And he's also had a week and a half. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So in, it, it, usually, if you're practicing, you're gonna play. Yeah, that's in terms of straight uh, straight plays. In the NFL, which way? What would you say is probably the one you you like the most? There's a few. They, I don't honestly a lot of those bounce back spots. I really like like I really like the Commanders six and a half. I really like that. I really like the Vikings. I like the Bengals a lot. Um, I love the Ravens. The Ravens and I the the Rams. What I like as well. Um, honestly, I 
There's something that tells me I think the Commanders might go steal. Oh, I, like, I also think I like the that's a, plus uh, six and a half. I love. I it. think they might make that. They could potentially win that game. That's a uh, that's a, a, a built up angst game too. I feel like with the Ravens. Now the Ravens have had some success in the in the postseason against the Patriots, but it sure as shit feels like the Patriots have way more postseason wins uh, against the Patriots have way more postseason wins against the Ravens head to head. Now I know not a, not a lot of those guys are. Uh, on the team and dialed up, but I yeah. do feel like the fans will be amped for this one as well. Take my uh, fa- my bias out of it. I think two and a half for the Saints against the Panthers is a trap. I think the Panthers should be the play. I think it's. A trap I I kind of agree with that. Like even taking it seems away, small. it's like the Panthers have obviously not looked good. The Saints didn't look good last week, but. I don't know. I think it should be like four and a half. So that's an interdivision home dog as well. So interdivision home dogs would be Carolina plus the two and a half, mm. uh, Commanders plus the six and a half, Arizona plus the three and a half. It's not a bad Paul A. Uh, and then that's it. And then depending on which way the Giants flip, because the Giants possibly be a. I'm seeing right now it's Giants like minus one as a dog. The 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 ones I've kind of been going after are guys throwing one and a half. Touchdown passes. I just it's a passing league. I think a lot of guys explode. Um would Mariota be the guy to put on that list? Atlanta in Seattle. Or is Seattle's defense completely different at home? I don't know. I don't know if I'm no about to put Mariota on there. Yeah, some never know about the fucking the, the one I scrolled across. Would Derek Carr be the kind of guy after what you saw? You have to put him on there. Yeah, they they're desperate, right? Mm-hmm. Them in Tennessee. Them versus Tennessee, and and what Tennessee allows through the air. Now it's at home. That's crazy. That game you know? is that game's do or die. Yeah, both teams. Yeah. What's nuts is Mahomes is no longer at one and a half on any. Like, you can't get Mahomes at one and a half. Really? Now, I do think you'd still be laying money. We could look it up. I think you'd be laying juice on two and a half. But how do you not go after two and a half with him against the Colts? In a dome? Yeah, he's going to be throwing the fucking he's, shit out. I, I don't The Colts are, are, are fucking. They just really, really might be bad. I would put Mahomes at two and a half if I was taking the look. Uh,. I think both guys, Jameis and Baker, I think that that could turn into kind of a shootout. Yep. With that, I know the Saints' offense didn't look great against Tampa Bay. I trust, uh, like I said, Mahomes. You think, wait, you think Baker, Jameis going to be a shootout? Yep. I agree. I don't like either of those defenses. I really don't. The total's 40. I, yeah. You don't, you don't like out. the defense. They just held Brady to nothing. Yeah. Shootout. What? Baker going to light it up. No, I'm not saying that. But uh, I don't know. I was, the, I was in this. I had a moment, and I like process. I was like a shootout. <laughs> I didn't know it was that. I'm looking at it, it's that low. <laughs> I guess their their right. defenses are getting more respect than than what I would have expected. I I just think, I say bad teams, and I immediately associate bad defense. I'm, I'm thinking the score. So that's that probably my like, fault. Like, but I twenty to seventeen. <sighs> which which two quarterbacks did Carolina go against? Daniel Jones and who? And Brissett. So not necessarily like the best of the best. So, I mean, so right? and Jameis, Jameis Winston. I know, but Jameis just had a bad game. Is Jameis is Jameis coming back to a good game? All right, fine. I mean, no, he might. I, I just was saying. Sh- yeah, you're right. Shootouts it's, like 35, I, I 31. I probably should have looked at right. and respect. I should have respected their defenses a little bit more. Oh, Saints defense right. is good. I and I actually think the, the Panthers defense is decent. Yeah. Uh, Sunday night, I have no interest in. Um, San Fran. Bur- Honestly, I, I hate the Burrow, line. Can, can Burrow get his fucking act together and be they're gonna, the they're guy? They're going to smash the Jets. I think it's going to be like a – Yes, they're going to smash I think the Jets. Ba- I think Joe, Joe back. Burrow literally like – I'm not taking this social media thing so seriously, but I think he's just like, fuck this shit. We're, we're, we gotta get we're just to going it. to – we're winning. We're not losing this week. Yeah, and, and Chase hasn't really looked great. Like they do have the weapons – this I would kind of, yeah, I really have no feels as far as like straight plays. I think I'm going to play the Giants again Monday night, which worries me as a fan. I kind of don't see how you don't play this over in the Bills Dolphins, 53 and a half. I don't hate it. You know, I know that's just Chase. It's the highest number on the board. Like, don't chase that. Uh, and I, I, I would probably, it's probably square, but I'd play the Chiefs. The Colts really, really might be that bad. Nothing about them excites me. I, I live for the road less traveled. Colts. Yeah. All right. If they, if, they, if they get smoked, I won't bet them again. I haven't really bet the Colts this year. I'm on Chiefs. I, I I can't I can't do it. I know what you mean. This is your last one, but 
I don't. It's definitely stinky. I, is it? Submit. What's the spread? It's five and a Yeah, it's stinky. I don't know if it's stinky. What do you? What, because people still think the Colts are good. No, who? Who thinks they're good? Bro, people still who? think that. The, Name one. I guarantee if you Name go Name one through, person that thinks the Colts I think are the, good. How do you, so the do you metrics, think the Bengals are bad? All the F, like the, the. No, I don't think they're bad. But the then the Colts are the, the, it's the same thing. The Colts played, uh, they tied horrible. They played horrible last week. But people still think that their team is a playoff team. To caliber team. I think they're not. I I just think they're probably not as they're not like as bad as maybe they've looked. Maybe they are, but I'll plug. I mean, I think five and a, a, a line when a line when it opens six and a half and goes to five and a half when the entire planet's hammering the Chiefs. That's stinky. Yeah, that's. Ooh, can we that, get the money on the Chiefs? Yeah, I mean, you think a ton? The public is is. I mean, the Chiefs are like always public, but yeah, you think yeah I think the spot, Chiefs would be a public like six and sit, laying six oh, on the road. I think the Chiefs. Are I'll look right now. They they yeah. have to be. They have to be. Um, Ebo favorite NFL play of the week. Uh, yeah. I love the Jaguars. Oh, I think the Jaguars 70%. are good. Yeah. Also, yeah. not going to talk about the biggest game of the weekend today. We got Jam Jamu at App State. That's today. No, this weekend. It's, oh. a, it's Saturday. Why does all right? All right, walk me through it. Why I'm does everybody Jackson. love Jamu in this game? So off a of bye week, and App State's coming off maybe their two most emo- most emotional wins, wins of all time. Mm. But what, what do we know about JMU? Haven't you played crap? Well, so the you're the lighting thing, them up. But. The thing that was scary was would we have the athletes to compete? And I think we showed in the first game against Middle Tennessee that we have the athletes to compete. So uh, I think we got a chance. I think we can win that game. You guys are not bowl eligible, right? Correct. That's but we are full FBS because we had six home games this year. So okay, we'll be at a bowl eligible next year. That's bullshit. You're not bowl eligible this year. Yeah, we're we're so we're gonna go 11 and 0, <laughs> not make a bowl game. That's stupid. Uh, Ev, while you're pulling up that money, let's get. Uh, it, it was over seventy percent on the Chiefs right now. Some 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 sharp money on the on the Colts. Not an insane amount, but. Yeah. Um. Still, all right. I'm everybody, on. everybody, I'm gonna. I'm, can we do our picks? Yeah. Let's do our picks. All right. Astros money line, Cleveland money line, Tigers money line. If you were looking to play. Uh, I'd go Air Force first half, but I'm a little gun shy. But Nevada is that <clears throat> is that bad. I think Air Force is pissed off. Military, they were probably getting their balls broken all weekend. I'd play Air Force first half if you really had to. But I'm on three baseball picks. Ev. I'm surprised no football out of here tonight. Yeah, I've been – well, listen, I have been trying to select. If you notice, I'm not loading up five units, five units first half and game on games. Uh, I'm really trying to be selective in in what I'm picking, and, and I'm doing okay with like the locks of the week. I love this Kansas Duke over. I think I'll be okay there. Three and one to start the season on the heavy plays. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm. It's it's Wazoo for me, and a couple of overs this week, and that's where I need to be at. Love Wazoo. Yeah. So I'm, like I said, I already before, Mont Virginia plus ten, the over fifty three. I'm on Air Force, and then they bounce back and just absolutely smash Nevada, score a bunch of points. And I'm on Boise. I just think UTEP is just really, really bad. I don't love bo- playing Boise on the road, but I, I mean, this is a UTEP team that got smashed by North Texas at home earlier this year. They haven't covered the game against the spread yet. They're just not good. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking Boise minus 16. Mark. And I may, I may add the over. Not sure about that. I'll, t- I'll tweet out the the lock card later. I got the Yankees minus one and a half with Cole on the mound. Syracuse minus 10. Uh, Air Force minus twenty four, Braves my uh, money line, which is just I don't know. You take play plus money with the Braves. Um, I'm also taking the Mariners with plus money against the Royals. That's a that's a rat line, but I'm gonna take it. Well, you guys S- S- Singer must be pitching, yeah, yeah, has to be, yeah. He's so good. Um, also, uh, the three of us are still in Merchapalooza, still in, which is shocking, I think, to all three of us. Um, but I'm in. I'm in. So again, today the parlay plus thirteen seventy four is the R- Yankees money line, Boise State minus sixteen and a half, uh, Air Force minus twenty four, Mariners money line, and Syracuse money line plus thirteen seventy four. If you DM me, use code Marty, you will be part of the parlay and we'll get some of the winnings if we win. I don't hate this one. If you're gonna use Rico, Boise State money line. Air Force down to 19 and a half. Syracuse money line is plus 122. You just go big at play Virginia plus 10. You will be part of my parlay. Cover. If you do it. So use code Marty. Use any of our codes, but 
Uh, yeah, to end the show, the grading, we kind of got close last night in that point. Oh, we were there. Yeah. We were right. If Hunter just got stood up on the one-yard line. But then the problem was we got – well, we didn't get the kicker. Yeah, the kicker got one. He got one field goal. The kicker only got one. Uh, And then Trubisky fucked us going over like 15 yards in garbage time. Mm. But with these these parlay pluses, we'll we'll build it. It doesn't have to be six legs, but if a certain guy doesn't want to go in with – like, hey, I just like the money line here or whatever. I think um, on Monday we all come with our favorite bets, and then we either if we all agree on one, we it goes in. If we all don't – if one person's out on one, it doesn't go in. Yeah. I like that. Because we were there, and we're going to hit one. I also, with a lot of these parlay pluses too, especially putting in the legs, I've juiced the – I've moved the line to like – so if you think it's going to be an under and it's 45, move the under to like 52. Yeah, you know, like where yep. you're, yeah, you know, like you're that. laying it, but whatever. We're adding four or five legs, so um, I think Saquon could probably score it. They'll go nuts if he scores at home. That would be the one I'm leaning. I like that too. That's where it goes. All right, that's uh, that's Pick Central. Enjoy the weekend. Tons of games. Uh, Merchant Palooza is still rocking. Tons of football. Barstool Sportsbook. Um, college football show will be in Knoxville tomorrow, baby. What time? Uh, one thirty Eastern. One thirty Eastern. Get flying out at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Enjoy so. the game. Show ever bet slip. He'll follow you on Twitter. Yep. No doubt. If you're in Detroit, if you're in Detroit, come see me Saturday and Sunday at Greektown. 